Okay. So may I know your full name, please? My complete name is Mohit. Okay. How may I address you? Please call me as Mohit. Okay. So tell me, Mohit, uh, where do you come from? I am a dweller of Jalandhar, which is situated in Punjab. It is a well-furnished city, and all the amenities are available. And it is also particularly famous for manufacturing sports goods and hand tools. Okay. So let's move on to another topic, and that is drinking water. Do you think we should drink a lot of water? Definitely, we should uh, drink lots of water because it is uh, also beneficial for us to uh, to make our body more dehydrated. So it is also prescribed by a doctor to drink at okay. So tell me, Mohit, how often do you drink water? Well, I drink water frequently. Sorry, ma'am, I uh, get unmuted myself. I don't know okay. why. No issues. I'll repeat that question again. How okay. often do you drink water? Well, I frequently drink water whenever I feel thirsty. Because it is uh, our necessity and it also beneficial for me, and I also make my body. Okay. So tell me, do you drink bottled water or water from machines? Although I, I. Prefer both of them because whenever I go far away places, then I take bottled water. Whereas when I at home, I use tap water. That would be more appropriate for me. During the coronavirus, I started to drink bottled water, which would be more safer and hygienic. Okay. So tell me, what kind of water do you like to drink? As I told earlier, I like both water, like uh, mineral water and tap water, because both have own significance. If I talk about bottle water, it is highly contained in minerals and also beneficial our body. Apart from this, I also like tap water for for different purposes. Okay, so let's move on to another topic, and that is maps. Do you often use maps? Sorry, ma'am, can you repeat the question? Yeah, sure. So tell me, Mohit, uh, do you often use maps? To be honest, I'm not uh, frequently use map whenever I go far away places where I do not know any exact location. Then I use map map for navigation. Otherwise, I avoid. Okay. So tell me, who taught you how to use a map? It is not a cup of tea for me to learn map on my own. So it is definitely uh, taught by my teacher, who taught me about how to use electronic map. After uh, having learning it, I also able to use paper map as well as uh, electronic map on regular basis. So I became better. Day by day. Okay. So tell me, Mohit, uh, do you prefer electronic map or paper maps? Well, I prefer electronic maps the most as compared to paper map because I cannot uh, need to. I do not need to carry paper map on my own. So instead of using paper map. 
I have a different option that would be more easier and safest of time. So that's why I use electronic map. Okay. Let's move towards another topic and that is being bored. So tell me, what do you do when you feel bored? Well, when I feel bored, at that time, I just try to listen music as well as, as well as also hang out with my friends for chit chat session so that I can also overcome my monotony as well as rejuvenate my mind. Oh, even though I do not get bored easily, when I have lots of stress and work, at that time I have that kind of experience. Okay. So what kind of things are boring to you? Although I find lots of interest in a small things, but sometimes I get bored when I have lots of work as well as take uh, lots of uh, any kind of uh, tension. Like when I get uh, sit idle, at that time I feel monotony. Otherwise I have ample of options such as playing, uh, playing outdoor games as well as indoor games, such as virtual games with my siblings. So I merely get uh, monotony. Okay. So do you think young people are more likely to get bored? I don't believe. Nowadays, there are lots of options have for youth, such as they can uh, scroll the cell phone and browse the internet in the spare time. So they have uh, lots of uh, work as well. They can easily indulge themselves in the virtual world as well as talk with their friends such as it is nowadays more common to hang out at the restaurant as well as talk with friends via online as well as offline okay thank you mohit this is the end of your part one and uh, i've shared the cue card in the group number 67 Okay. You can take your one minute preparing notes and then you'll have to speak straight for two minutes without any interruption. So your one minute starts now. Sorry, ma'am. Kindly, kindly speak cue card because in my self, I do not have an internet facility. So I also my internet expired today okay. so that's why so uh, the cue card is describe a city that you think is very interesting you have to tell where it is and uh, how you knew this city and why do you think it's interesting Oh. I hope you've got all the cues. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, so you may start preparing your notes now. Okay, Mohit, so your one minute is up and I hope you prepared your notes. You may start speaking now. Okay. Yeah. Well, please go ahead. As I 
sorry well as i reside in jalandhar it is although it is a well furnished city but i consider chandigarh is the far better and all the amenities are available it is also keep neat and clean city and it is also has also more significance such as seven sector 17 and sukhna lake as well as zoo where mostly visitor come and enjoy their free time so uh, i think residents can also avail lots of amenities such as educational facilities universities are really top ranked universities are available as well as the high rise buildings are also in a sustainable development mostly people would like to reside there because there is no any kind of hustle and bustle because it is also separated in three parts such as residential area industrial and and uh, uh, commercial area and uh, mostly people also use car pulling and car sharing scheme so that the l- less and less pollution and uh, traffic congestion uh, would be seen on the road and uh, recent government also imposed the rules and regulation on the petrol car so in the 2023 there would be no any kind of patrolling car seen on the on the road so it would be more far better idea to mitigate the pollution uh, problems in the future because uh, it is a really eco friendly and mostly people also would all, would like to also use car Uh, car uh, electronic cars as well as uh, for shorter distances they would also use bicycle apart from this i think th- there are lots of amenities are available so that's why i also would plan to go there and also uh, build my house in the future so uh, I-, i am really glad Uh, when i visited there my one of my friend who told me about right. this city your time is up moving towards the follow up questions the first one is uh, why do some people like to visit historical places there are certain reason behind this this nowadays it, uh, mostly people like to visit far away places such as tourist places so that they can easily get to know about past history as well as also rejuvenate their mind if i talk about the perspective of knowledge they can broaden not only broaden their uh, knowledge but also they can also explore different places in this way they can also connect with the natives and talk apart from this they can also enjoy the staple food or as well as also uh, rejuvenate their mind so these are the reason major reason which uh, mostly people uh, have more purpose to visit in the uh, tourist places okay so tell me why do people go to modern city well firstly nowadays uh, uh, because of joblessness mostly people migrate from one place to another for better luxurious lifestyles as well as they can also avail lots of benefits while residing in the metropolitan cities they cannot face any kind of problems regarding their movement as well as availing benefits regarding entertainment sport like cinemas and uh, restaurant apart from this they can also enjoy their spare time with the residents who, and they can also connect with the highly educated people and get respect because in the urban areas so next question is uh, what are the problems caused by maintaining historical city well firstly i uh, i think 
in the uh, old buildings has lots of problems nowadays because government ca cannot concentrate to refurbishment of old buildings and mostly people also do not give more significance because uh, nowadays uh, the interest of youth have declining nowadays because they do not like to visit there for some time they consider it is a wastage of time and these are the problems regarding uh, mostly historical places have and in the future the government also decide to demolish the uh, museums so uh, instead of museum all right so tell me uh, what can we do to stop visitors from damaging historical places as per my knowledge firstly i consider the government should not uh, should not be demolished the historical places because uh, they can connect us to our root and hi historical heritage so uh, i think government should also promote more and more tourist as well as museums so that new generation can also get to know about past histories and i think uh, museums should uh, uh, formulate and also uh, renovate with the new technology so that the more and more tourist can visit and they can also generate revenue that revenue can also benefit for the the developed country as well as developing okay thank you mohit uh, this is the end of your speaking moving towards the review now part 1 was attempted really well uh, well if we specifically look towards the uh, questions the first one uh, in which uh, we had the topic drinking water for that you mentioned a purpose a, a purpose of uh, more, uh, drinking more hydrate instead you can uh, tell that it can keep us hydrated okay that would be a bit contradictory so definitely avoid that and uh, in the third question uh, mentioning a condition when i at home instead you can use whenever i am at home and uh, mostly people do make this mistake whenever we are talking about the pandemic time we tell uh, during the corona virus you can say covid pandemic or corona virus pandemic but mentioning pandemic would refer to the time so that would be better and uh, it is contained in mineral it is contained with mineral well you were talking about the bottled water so instead of using in replace it with with and uh, the next question of the uh, like first question of the next topic about maps i am not frequently use map and use the word not frequently use map and other questions of this topic were attempted really well there wasn't anything to point out from the second and the third one uh, the uh, topic being board was also discussed really well topic specific vocabulary and relatability was definitely seen and uh, if i have lot of any kind of tension definitely like instead of using these two words together use any out of these either of these okay and uh, third question when you were paraphrasing a sentence and you're not agreeing with something uh you said i don't believe uh, if you're not paraphrasing that i do not believe in such and such condition or such and such scenario you can instead replace it with the word so and say i don't believe so and then you can start with the reasons whatever you are supposed to provide moving towards the part 2 review now um the questions covered really well but coming towards a detailed review of the cues that were mentioned in the question which you were supposed to cover see whenever you're having a question like this like how do you know about this or how you came to know about this you have to mention it somehow you can see it is located uh, near by my hometown so i came uh, to know about it or i know it from the from my childhood from my early childhood or one of my friends introduced me to this place so have something like this to cover up the cue and why do you think it's interesting you have mentioned very good information related to the top ranked universities and all those kinds of things but till uh, this thing uh, you have to include any of the keywords i really think that this place is definitely interesting because most of the top ranked universities lie in this region or uh, then you can talk about the traffic uh, congestions and all those kinds of measures taken by government you did talk about right so you can mention but 
the keyword interesting should be mentioned here that i think it's interesting and then you can provide with the reasons which you have spoken about in the cue card moving towards the follow up questions now the follow up questions were discussed uh, with giving proper explanation very descriptive answers were there and reasons were extremely good and uh, but uh, in the for the third one a bit of uh, grammatical mistake was seen like buildings has uh, when you having a plural thing as we all know uh, of this fact that uh, buildings have would be there and uh, so, uh, like you mentioned that uh, their importance have declining it would either be have declined or is declining use either of these two for the replacement purpose and government should not be demolished such uh, monuments or such historical places instead you can say government should not demolish word b should not be there for the proper grammatical correction okay